Hi, this is Paul, and in this video, we'll be walking through the programming of a commercial IXG system with two IXDV door stations, eight IXMV7 master stations, an IXGWGW, and two IXG mobile apps. This configuration would allow you to use existing IX series equipment with the addition of an IXGWGW gateway adapter to receive calls on a cloud based mobile app. Keep in mind that a constant internet connection is required for the IXGWGW. Make sure that the latest version of the IXG series support tool is installed on the programming PC, as well as the IX series stations and IXGWGW are updated to the latest firmware. A link for each of these can be found in the description below. It is recommended that stations and the programming PC are placed on the same network for initial programming. Once complete, the stations may be removed from this environment and deployed where needed. Launch the IXG support tool and log in as administrator. The default ID and password are admin admin. The create a new system window will automatically appear. If not, click file and select create new system. Enter in a site name, system ID, and system password for this location. Also fill out the site information, installer information, and property management information sections, as this information is a requirement for system or account recovery when using the IXG mobile app. Click Finish to continue. All ID and passwords should be recorded and saved in a secure location. Recovery of ID and passwords may be difficult or impossible in some situations. The first thing that will need to be done is adding units and their stations to the system. From the side menu, click on Unit slash Stations. By default, each unit is assigned one master station, one entrance door station, and one mobile app. For this video, we'll need to increase the station numbers for each of these three types. At the top of the window, use the drop-down menus to select the number of stations that will reside in each unit, then click Apply. From left to right, we will need to configure the unit's required information. Use the drop-down to select a building number, enter a unit number, and select a unit type. This system will be using a commercial unit. For a system with more than two door stations and or a master station, create an outside area unit for the door stations and a commercial unit for the master stations and apps. For the master station columns, select IXMV7, and for the door station columns, select the IXDV. Each of the app columns only have one option, so go ahead and select Intercom App. Once each station has been added to the unit, click Save. When the Save button is clicked, a pop-up will appear. Click Yes. This will allow the IXG support tool to automatically configure communication between all appropriate stations in the unit, as well as configure and enable door release. Clicking No will require a manual configuration of these settings, which is not covered in this video. The next step will be configuring the IXGWGW gateway adapter. Select Gateway Registration on the side menu, check Enable, and then click Save. Each unit using the IXG mobile app will need to be assigned an IXGWGW. To do this, select Gateway Selection from the side menu. Use the Gateway Number drop-down menu and choose One, and then click Save. To edit the name that will appear when a station calls in, expand Station Information from the side menu and select Identification. This selection will allow you to edit the station name and number once completed, click Save. Since the IXG series is a network-based video intercom, we'll need to assign each of the stations with network information. From the side menu, expand Network Settings and select IP Address. Each station can be manually assigned an IP address or configured as a batch with batch IP address configurations. For this video, we will assign the IP addresses manually as they require a default gateway for the IXGWGW to function. For each station, enter an IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. When complete, click Save. The IXGWGW gateway adapter also requires a DNS address to function. Without it, the IXG mobile app will not work. From the side menu, select DNS, enter a primary server and secondary server, and click Save. We'll be using 8.8.8.8 .8 as our primary server and 8.8.4.4 .4 
as the secondary. These addresses are provided by Google and may be used freely. It is recommended by APhone to enable and configure NTP settings for each station when possible. For systems with the IXGWGW gateway adapter, it will have NTP enabled and an APhone NTP server address set by default. Check with your network administrator for any available NTP server addresses to assign to the stations. After the IXG stations have been assigned network information, they will need to be associated. This step will assign the IP addresses to the stations found on the network based on the MAC address. From the top menu, select Connection and click Association Settings. Select a station from the station settings list and one from the station list below. Clicking the Apply button below the station list table will assign the station name and IP address to the MAC address selected, causing the station to reboot. This process may take three to five minutes depending on the station type. If no stations appear in the station list or you receive an error when searching for stations, go to File and select IXG Support Tool Settings. Use the Select NIC dropdown and select the correct NIC that is connected to the network which houses the IXG stations and click OK. Return to Association Settings to try again. If the station search continues to fail immediately, a local antivirus or firewall may be preventing this action. Disabling one or both may be a simple solution in quickly finishing the association step and can be enabled once again when this process is complete. After the stations have finished their boot process, the setting file created by the IXG support tool will need to be uploaded to them. To do this, select Connection on the top menu and click Upload Settings. Select each station by placing a check mark next to it or click Select button to select all. Click Settings to upload the station settings. Confirm that there is success in the status column. If any stations have failed, they may still be booting up from the association step. It is also critical to confirm that the programming PC is in the same subnet range as the stations. For example, if the stations are assigned an IP address in the 192.168.1 range, the PC should be assigned an IP address in the 192.168.1 range as well. If IXG mobile apps are to be part of the system, the first step in many situations is to create an administrative account for the app server. However, if this is one of the multiple sites the installing company is responsible for, do not create a new administrator account. Use the existing IXG cloud server account credentials when uploading settings to the IXG cloud server to add this site to the installation company IXG cloud server account. To create a new administrator account, select App Integration from the top menu and click Create a New Administrator ID. Enter an ID, password, and email address and click Create to continue. Keep in mind that the registered email address will need to be accessed to continue with account creation. The verification code will be sent to the registered email. Enter this code by selecting App Integration from the top menu and click Activate. Enter the ID and password used when creating the administrator account followed by the verification code and click Activate. Congratulations, you now have an active IXG Cloud Server Administrator account. Next, we'll need to upload this system settings to the IXG Cloud Server. Select App Integration from the top menu and click Upload Settings to IXG Cloud Server. Log in to the Administrator account, select your country of residence and click Upload. Before we register the IXG mobile app to a unit, we'll need to download it from the mobile device's app store. Search for the iPhone IXG in the app store and download. Once installed and the privacy policy is agreed to, it will ask for a QR code. We will need to use the IXG support tool to generate a QR code for each specific unit to be scanned. In the IXG support tool, select App Integration from the top menu and click Export QR Code for App Registration. Place a check mark next to the unit and click the Export QR Code for App Registration button. Save the file to a location on your PC and open it. Scan the QR code using the mobile device to finish the registration process for that device. Repeat this step for any individual mobile devices you may have. The IXGWGW gateway adapter will need to be synced with the IXG cloud server in order for the mobile application to function. Make sure the IXGWGW has a solid green status LED and is ready to be synced with the cloud server. 
If the status light is not green and still flashing orange, wait 10 minutes and then manually reboot the iXGWGW. To sync the iXGWGW gateway adapter and the iXG cloud server, select app integration from the top menu and select manual iXG cloud server and gateway sync. Select the gateway adapter and click sync. If the sync fails or the status LED is still not solid green, confirm that both the programming PC and the iXGWGW adapter have an internet connection. Also confirm that the default gateway and DNS settings configured earlier in the video are set correctly. Best practice is to sync the iXGWGW to the cloud server anytime the settings are updated and upload to stations. Give the system at least five minutes after a successful sync before testing a call from a station to a mobile app. For more information on the iXG series, please visit our website at www.aphone.com forward slash iXG. Thanks for watching.